Recently, we attended the wedding of our nephew. It was a joyful day, and we rejoiced with the young couple, their families, and their congregation. More recently, we attended baptismal services of another nephew. Again, we rejoiced with the family and the congregation. In both of these instances, tears of joy flowed. We believe it pleases God when believers unite, un unite in his will. In heaven, Jesus and the angels rejoice when a repentant sinner comes home into God's family. We also recall scenes where we shed tears of grief and sorrow. Last year, our young community experienced the death of a little four-year-old boy. Many friend, relatives and friends gathered with our congregation as we sorrowed with the family. In spite of the grief, we understand God is working his will for our good. We can identify with Ephesians 2, 6. God hath raised us and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. And 1 Thessalonians 4.13 says, But concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. A small preschool girl begged her mother to go next door to help her recently widowed grandmother. Mother wasn't sure if it was the right thing to do since grandmother was grieving the death of her life companion. Finally, mother conceded and said, You may go over and help mommy but do not stay very long. A short time later, the little ass returned. So did you help mommy with her work? Mother queried. No, came the innocent reply. I just sat on mommy's lap and cried with her. Brothers and sisters, this is, this is uh, the heart of ministry, I think. And that is to be with people uh, in the joyful times and the sorrowful times and to uh, bring Jesus into that uh, into that time as well. Doesn't mean preaching um, the gospel, um, uh, but being willing to when uh, when the opportunity is right to do that, or sharing the gospel, but just being with others. God, Jesus, you know, God in, incarnate, God with us. Um, that is, uh, I think, uh, uh, the greatest thing we can do, you know, for another human being who is having a struggle, who is uh, um, hurting, is to just be with them and cry with them, if uh, yeah, to cry with them, or to laugh with them and joy in the joyful times. Well, I think I pretty much just said what uh, Mr. Schwartz said uh, in just different words, so you get the idea. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this time. Thank you that we can um, we can uh, meet together virtually like this, and uh, and uh, and just uh, share um, uh, these words of wisdom. Lord, help us to be the kind of people that will be with other people when uh, when they need us to be with them. Uh, help us to not be too busy, or to think we're too busy, um, or to have other concerns than the uh, the ones that. Uh, you give to us, the people you give to us to, to minister to with our presence. And we just pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen.